Britain's military does not directly support veterans. Instead, it directs them to charities like Combat Stress to look after them. But Combat Stress suddenly stopped helping Gus. So I started a process then of writing backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, quite a num number of years to try and get answers of why this happened. I got nowhere and I um, decided to go on hunger strike, see if these people would come out the woodwork. 62-year-old war veteran and PTSD sufferer Gus Hales claims the lack of care for ex-soldiers is so bad that he's now gone on hunger strike to campaign for better mental health support. Treatment of veterans returning from conf combat is woefully inadequate. It lasted for 18 days, nearly killed me. It gained a lot of media interest, it gained a lot of political interest. They obviously wanted me to stand down because they were quite embarrassed about it. Richard! The Secretary of State will be aware of the case of Gus Hales who's been on hunger strike outside combat stress in my constituency. What more can the Ministry of Defence do to work with combat stress to get uh, Gus some help, the help he so badly needs? Mr Speaker, I've spoken to Gus Hales. I'm very sorry as to what actually happened to him. I've also spoken to Combat Stress. We need to make sure that people like Gus, who have served this country, uh, are looked after. Just come out of the meeting with Tobias Elwood. Uh, very productive. Uh, we obviously all want the same thing. Bear in mind I was talking to a politician. The Ministry of Defence has promised Gus that charities will now take better care of veterans like him. If you're going to use men to defend these places, you must make sure they've got proper and adequate after care for their physical and mental health for the rest of their lives. And it's no good farming these guys off to charities that fail. You are the employer. You have the duty of care when you send people to war. And you are the ones that should be picking up the bill to look after these men when they come back. So. If you're not going to do that, Gavin Williams, then don't build your bases. Don't send people to war. If you are going to do it, then you must make sure that you look after these people properly for the rest of their lives. It's as simple as that.